Hello everyone, welcome to the Foreigner Farming in the Philippines. Well, it's feeding time and these guys are hard at it. Gene and I were talking about moving piglets around. There's 40 piglets uh, due to be weaned. We put 22 sacks of rice hulls in this pen to build it up high enough for them so that they can easily easily reach the drinkers, easily get into the feeder. But there's no way this pen can hold 40 piglets. There's just <laughs> 20 is about right for this pen. Hi, Nini, you found me. Yeah, you found me. Um, so we've we've kind of come to a, a consensus, a compromise that we're going to put a few less than 30 in here. There's one litter of 12 that's due to be weaned, pulling their mom down pretty hard. Uh, so we're going to leave those piglets in the pen and just move mom out and leave those piglets in there. And when we get Tata's shed complete, then we're going to finish up this fattening pen over here that was began I don't know, two or three months ago now. I don't really remember when, but it was it began a long time ago. Uh, we have to have it now. All the heavy work has been done. It's been it's been uh, dug out, so it's just the pool and the walls and and uh, the the drinkers and stuff. I mean, this is a, it's still a week left to finish it probably the roofing and all that, but at least the hard digging has been done. So. We'll get this pen finished because we're, we're just running out of room. We've finally been getting some uh, fairly decent, and I say I use that term loosely, fairly decent litter sizes and, and just more litters as more of the sows get older and ready to breed because uh, a lot of the sows were still growing, still young. That's another reason that it was, it was playing havoc with the bottom line because we had 20, 25 sows that were having piglets and 25 sows that were still growing and hadn't been bred yet. But they're all starting to drop piglets now, so. We're, we're needing room. Probably fit 40 piglets in here. This is a big pen, and the pen we're making, this, this pen here is the same size. It'll be it'll be a, a, a deluxe size condo, piglet condo. But the first two that we made up there, uh, like with everything here, it's kind of an experiment as we go. Uh, we're just not made to be that to have that many piglets in them. So we'll get her done. I'm thinking about 15 sacks in this one too, Gina. And maybe 10 in this one. Maybe 15 also. I want it covered, I want it fill, enough filled in so that that hole, those holes over there, they can't get to them. Yeah, they'll, they'll, they're digging, they're trying to get back into the main piggery. Yeah, so it's looking like an easy 60 sacks are just going into these fattening pens. How are all the piglets doing? Anything I should know? Did we lose any? Well, do you know that the black white pig there has litter already? I did not know. Well, she has. She has? Four only. Again, four only. Yeah, and then the one, the one piglet is it's like a penguin. A penguin? Yeah, because the feet. It's deformed? Alright, let's go take a look at it. So because supposed to be there are seven of them, but the three are some kind of deformed. They were they were deformed? Yeah. Were they were they born alive or stillborn? They were born dead? Okay. 
Well, it's with a sad heart that I'm going over here to look at these piglets, guys. The litter size and the problems with the piglets are pretty much the death knell for the sow. Well, it's, it's, it's calmed down a little bit here, so I'm going to finish up this video. Uh, there's four here that were born alive. This one is deformed. Its front feet are deformed. Uh, those three seem okay. This sow's last litter, she only had six, I think. And over time, slowly, I think we lost them all. Um, stepping on them. I mean, she's not a great mother. She's not having big litters. And the three that were born, stillborn, were deformed. Uh, this little guy here is deformed, but he's okay. Consing's bottle feeding him. Uh, he won't nurse. 99% chance he won't make it. I told Consing to give him another couple days to try to get him to nurse. Maybe he'll get enough strength to get around um, and I told her she, if she couldn't get it to nurse then just take it home she could have it uh, and she can she can take care of it there or leave it here and take care of it uh, take it back and forth with her every day what she wants whatever she wants to do but uh, I've got to make the decision now on this sow she um, I had such high hopes for her because she is like she's one of the largest most well put together sows that we have she's a, a huge animal but she just she's not passing that along in fact she's passing along the very worst that uh, could be passed along I do have one question that I that uh, I'm gonna pose to uh, Consing or Gina there's two of these sows in there. And there are two of these sows that we have are sisters of the large boar that we have. And the rule has been to use the other boar on the siblings of the main boar that we use. Something's telling me that because so many of these piglets were deformed that she was bred with her brother. By mistake. So I'm going to ask Consing. Well, I can't really ask Consing. I'll ask Gina and see if we can get to the bottom of this. Um, I, I'm just hoping that the sow board is not correct because it does say the boar used is Will, and Will is her brother. I think. I'm not sure if if she's one of those three sows that are related to the boar. There's so many, I, I, I have a hard time keeping track of stuff just off the top of my head, and I can't remember which two or three sows are sisters of that boar. But it's written down somewhere in the record, so we'll get it figured out. Kind of a shame. Uh, it's, it's more than kind of a shame. I've got to decide now whether, regardless, I mean, if, if this sow was bred to her brother, then that might be a problem that could be remedied just by breeding her to a different boar. But if she wasn't, and uh, she was bred to a boar that was not related to her, and she's had two litters now that were small, and now this litter is small, and most of them are deformed. Um, she's just got to go down the road. There's no other. There's no other option. Or I just have to retire her here and get, just just start the pin for the retiring sows, 
and in this sow's case it'll be about three or four years early retirement. A decision has to be made. They're getting, they're, the girls are showing up with the feed buckets again, so it's going to get noisy down here. Thank you, everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.